Hi there, everybody. My name is Ashley Burns, and I am the scenic artist at Theatre Squared in Fayetteville. And what that means is that I and a team of talented painters get to paint and decorate um, all of the sets for the plays that we do at Theatre Squared. Um, and I've done a series of videos today to walk through a tutorial of faux wood graining so that any surface you have in your, in your seam shop can be made to look like wood floor planks. Before we go into the videos, I just wanted to show you guys real quick all the supplies that I used um, during this uh, tutorial. Um, I've got here my brushes, my handy dandy wood grain brushes. Um, this one is a little chip brush. Uh, you can get them at Lowe's. These are real cheap. Um, and when what I'd like to do is when they get a little bit older and crustier, I, um, you can see here, I take a pair of scissors and I give a little haircut so that you can see this jagged edge here um, that really helps for any uh, wood grain texture. It gives a little stripey, uh, a little bit, a little bit of character. Um, so that's pretty important for your first couple of steps. Uh, to have this texture on the first layer, and uh, you'll see in the video. Um, my next brush that I use all the way until the end is uh, a thicker and wider brush. Uh, it's for deck staining a deck, I would say, uh, because it's wide, you can paint pretty quickly. Uh, and this one is a little bit older, so it's got some stiffness to it, and that also helps with the texture of the wood grain that you're going for. The third and final brush that I use is uh, a newer, longer, softer bristled uh, deck brush. Uh, also, it goes pretty fast and smooth. It gives it a nice finish at the end. All right. Um, the paints that I used today, um, we'll start from the beginning. I base coated my board with a pretty bright yellow. And I did my second layer of color, um, was a, a, a zebra stripe effect, I like to call it. Um, and I used this red and yellow to give it a really nice uh, contrast at the beginning. And that first layer is pretty important to get a lot of character and a lot of uh, just the tones work really well at the end when the stage light points at it and you can see those colors come up and uh, make it really pretty. The next paints I have prepared for our tutorial today are glazes. And a glaze is paint that's been added to a mixture of uh, a clear top coat. Uh, this is just something you can get at your hardware store. It's water-based and it, uh, it protects anything you've painted from wear and tear, um, from, from water to an extent, and also it makes it shiny and pretty. So you mix a little bit of this uh, and then the same amount of water and then you add paint to that mixture until it's the consistency of melted ice cream. Um, yeah. And the best, most exciting tool that I use today is called a wood grain tool. Uh, and I'll show it closer to you here. It's got a handle and a rubber base that has this pattern on it that kind of looks like tree trunk rings. Can you see that? And then on the edges, it has like little spiky points, little teeth that you can also drag uh, along your, uh, once you put a glaze on your first layer, then you take this little tool and you drag it along the whole length of your board. And uh, you can kind of rock it back and forth as you go. Um, really have fun with what this pattern will leave you. And uh, when you watch that part of the video, you'll see that it just, it leaves this pretty pretty realistic looking um, pattern that is in a lot of wood boards that you would have at your house. 